What's going on guys? Just here to give you a little review of my new mower. I just got this. I got a hell of a deal on it. I don't really need it, but I bought it. Guilty. Bought a Husqvarna RZ461. Uh, like I said, this was uh, I got this for two thousand dollars out the door, so really couldn't resist it. I don't know what it was, but I'm like two grand. Ah, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, this is the 2014, so it's a leftover. Like I said, out the door, tax, everything. Two two grand. The guy hooked me up with. Um, this is pretty much the same as the 2015, except this area right here is plastic. They got, it's like a slip resistant plastic feature, which right here is all plastic. And you see these lights right here? There's lights on each side. They don't have the lights there on the 15 model. They have it along here. So there's a long LED light that stretches across the bottom. I set it up here. These lights are bright, by the way. I was very, very shocked. Um, pretty cool feature. You know, these, these are great homeowner mowers. I mean, you know, I got it. And I, like I said, you guys know a lot of my videos for, anyway, for commercial anyway. I, I don't recommend these stamp decks. But, you know, I said, oh, well, I'm taking the plunge. And it was an impulse buy. It was a good deal. I figured, hey, use it for a couple weeks, maybe a month, and I'm going to probably sell it. But maybe make a little bit on it. But if not... You know, whatever. But it has the Briggs and Stratton Endurance Series 23 horsepower. 724 cc's. And it has the Ready Start system. Now what that is, it's a pretty cool system. You don't turn a key. It's like an electric start type thing. And here's your main panel. You got your hour meter, blade engagement. You know, your throttle there and... uh there's your lights, you hit that once, and it goes to like a low beam. Hit it twice, you got high beams, it's really, really bright. And that's your battery checker, you hit it, it tells you how good your battery is. If it's red, it needs to be charged. If it's green, it's good. And this last one here, this is just to start the engine pretty much. So what you would do is when you want to start the engine, it's set, you know, you can set this up to five different codes. See how those numbers underneath, one, two, three. So you, if you want, it could be two, three, one, one, or three, two, one, one, two. So five digits, but this is just a factory setup. So what we, you would do is you would press this, two, so it would be one, two, three. Then this would turn red, then it would turn green. So once it hits green, you hit it, boom, engine starts up, which is pretty cool, you know. But people, you know, you don't have to, you know, carry a key on you or if you lose it. You know, I guess it's a pretty good feature. Um, you know, whatever. Here's underneath the seat. And, you know, you can't start this one, this mower, unless you're on the seat. Um, what is cool about Husqvarna is, though, <clears throat> they do mow backwards. There are certain, uh, you know, Cub Cadets, they don't mow backwards. And probably a couple other ones out there, but this mows in reverse, which is cool. So. Um, yeah, I got a great deal on it. I'll just talk about the deck now. Like I said, you guys know I'm not a big, uh, stamped deck guy, but, you know, I think if you're going to go with a stamped Husqvarna, probably your best way to go because it's double reinforced. So this is your 13 gauge, uh, steel deck. And then it has a 12 gauge it's like it's reinforced. This is all along here that's bolted to the 13 gauge. So it gives you that extra protection. So it's, it's pretty much double reinforced. So, you know, it, it should definitely stand up to the elements. It's got uh, three anti-scalp wheels, um, which is cool. You know, you got your headlights. What, this has 18 inch wheels. They're 18.95. Which you would find on uh, a lot of commercial, uh, you know, mowers. Well, and most of them have 20 or 22, 23, but, you know, I think the Raptor has 18, which really isn't a commercial mower either, but 
you know, it's got the fab deck, and a lot of people are using them for, uh, you know, if they got like 10, 15 ones or whatever, but the front ones, believe it or not, are bigger than the Hustler. I believe these are 11.4s, so 11 inches and 4 inches wide. The, uh, I think the Raptor is like 3.5, but um, yeah, I mean, quick comparison to this and my Raptor, this is definitely faster. No doubt about it. It's a faster mower. Um, cut quality is about the same. Maybe a little bit of advantage to the Hustler. But, um, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I really am. It has a three and a half gallon fuel tank, which is pretty cool. The Raptor has a three. Um, so, you know, it's, it's good enough. I mean, like I said, I'm going to use it a couple times, a couple lawns, keep it a month. I do like it. I don't know. I might keep it longer, but you know, my intent of buying this was pretty much just really to sell it. Yeah, it really wasn't even just to sell. It. I just wanted it. It was an impulse buy. It was too grand. You know, it's regularly three thousand bucks with taxes. So he's like, "Yeah, I'll give it to you for two. I'm like, "Really? He's like, yeah, it's last year's model. I'll even deliver it to your house." I'm like, uh, all right, well, how do you know with the tax? No, I'm tax free. Two grand. I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm taking it. So I bought it. But uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Here is the, the parking brake is right here. Now, the, the other thing between this is the 14 model. And on the 15 is the 2015 model has this new deck lift system on it, which is actually is pretty cool. I was farting around with it when I was over there. It's located up here. And it's, I mean, it is so easy. You can do it with your pinky. You can move the deck. This is simple too. But, you know, I think, you know, that's the real big difference between the 15 RZ and the, the, the between the 14 and the 15. Like I said, there's this plastic thing in the front, anti-slip, which I think I don't like any plastic in the front. So I like this better anyway. And they had, they had the light in the front, which was probably a better maybe setup than this one, but... I don't know. I'll tell you what, this thing lights up. I mean, to add this to a mower for, you know, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it gives you everything. I mean, you got headlights. This is, I'm talking for a residential person. It has headlights for you. has an hour meter. It's got, well, this is another reason I'll go back to this. I'm going to show you this real quick and then I'm done. But these, these Briggs and Stratton engines, which are, you know, they're coming a long way. And I'll be honest with you, I like them a lot better than those Kohler's. I mean, I can't stand Kohler. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan. But I, I love, I'm starting to like Briggs a little bit. Uh, Kawasaki is my favorite, of course. I'm sure everyone would agree with that. They're, they're the best going right now. But anyway, the you know, a lot of people, you know, residential people, but commercial people too, they like to, you know, maintain their own equipment. You know, you go to a shop every time you need an oil change or your blade sharpened. Or something like that. You're going to spend a lot of money. So, they made it real easy with this. I mean, right here. This is a, this is how you change your oil. This is a hose. So, you unclip it right here. And when you're ready to change your oil, this unclips. It's a big hose. You bring it down right to your, your oil pan. And your oil comes right out. You don't got to worry about making a mess. Stuff dripping all over the, the, the mower. And, you know, trying to find a hose that fits. This is all one unit. You take this off, you unscrew this, boom, oil comes right out. Done, finito. So, it's a real cool feature. I mean, it's it's really good. I wish every engine would do it because it's, it's you know it's, it ain't more than setting putting a hose on the uh, oil drain, and you know you can everyone can change your oil, but you know I guess they want you to bring your mower. To this, you know, to the to the shop, and it gives you know the shop ways to get money and and income and stuff like that, which I guess I can understand. But yeah, with this, it's just real easy for the homeowner or anyone to just change the oil. It literally takes like ten minutes. Uh, it comes with an engine guard too, so you get headlights, an engine guard, an hour meter. You know, most of the, those things are like options on a mower. This comes standard with it, so that's a pretty good deal. You know, like I said, it was a floor model, has a couple scratches in it, 
don't know if you can tell from here. Right in this area where the exhaust is. The welds, I guess they've had this outside. Who knows, but it's a little bit rusted there. But besides that, it was in pretty much brand new shape, you know. Had two hours on it when I bought it. So, and I'll show you this thing real quick. This is a really cool part of this mower too. Um, you know, it has three anti-scout wheels, if I didn't mention that. Oh, and here, right there is grease fitting. And right there is a grease fitting. So, you know where they are. And I'm gonna show you where the other ones are, which makes this really cool. Right here, this comes up. So you unscrew this. Boom. Put that over here. And this comes up and you got access to all your belts. So right there, boom, grease that sucker. Boom, grease that one and boom, grease that one. So to get, you know, what's great about this too, you know, the grass that builds up, you just lift this up, you can blow this out with your blower and whatnot. And bam, you're all done. So it's a pretty cool system to get to your belts too. I mean, they pretty much make this, I mean, you can do everything yourself pretty much with this mower, which, I mean, you can do it with any mower, but it just makes it easy, you know, for the average Joe to, uh, you know, fart around with this thing. It's just real simple. Um, yeah, that's about it. The seat moves back, so if you're short, you can move it up. If you're tall, you can bring it back. And that's about it. I'm going to get it if I keep it, which, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. But they have a mulching kit. I'll probably do that. Because I hate this side discharge stuff. It makes a mess everywhere. I usually just mulch it. So, and they make armrests for this. That's the only thing that this didn't come with. I think, well, there was two options. The mulch kit and the armrests. The armrests are like 40 bucks. So, I'm thinking about just buying the armrests hooking them up even if I sell it you know this gives it one more reason someone to buy it but yeah I mean it thinks fast I think it rates at six and a half miles an hour but I don't know it feels fast I think the Hustler six maybe it is six and a half too but this is faster than the Hustler Raptor just if anyone who cares um, between the two but that's about it any questions or comments, uh, just let me know. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.